welcome back guys uh, to my channel thank you so much for watching my videos and liking and subscribing you know before i start this video i do want to say thank you to all of you guys uh honestly right now as of today i think i have 200 or you know less than 210 close to like 200 subscribers i mean i know it's not a lot of subscribers but you know when i started this channel like i think four or five months ago i did not even knew i would even reach you know over 100 so i think you know the fact i'm over 200 sub subscribers i think that's amazing that that makes me feel like you know there are people that are watching my videos and my video you know is giving you know i guess benefiting a lot of people and they're learning something new from my channel which i think is the main goal of my channel and of course help out my channel as well so that also helped me feel motivated that you know there are people watching my channel and you know just just helping out each other so i'm really happy that people are you know using my channel or watching my videos to you know repair their stuff on their daily day-to-day -day life so again if you have not subscribed already uh do like share and subscribe my video to help out my channel um so you know i mean i guess let's say this way so you have seen this type of power supply or i should say va uh, various power supply in pretty much all of my videos i use this puppy a lot and i love this unit and since i got it i'm using this so much i mean this thing is just amazing and i just use it for pretty much anything i repair or charge or anything and i get a lot of comments people asking you know hey what type of brand do i use what type of power supply am i using can i share the link and all those things and i got like a bunch of different people reaching out and you know another cool thing about making videos on youtube in my personal opinion uh, of course i'm located in nebraska in us but the videos i'm making uh you know people are watching all over the world i mean it is amazing i can see people you know reaching out from germany and all the other european countries or you know different cities and stuff like that this which is amazing i think some people reached out to me from canada so anyway i think it's amazing people are you know watching my videos from all different type of continent so anyway so like i said a lot of people wanted to um, ask more about this type of power supply because they want to do a similar repair that i'm doing on my tvs and you know maybe an ecoflow or uh, master craft or master force all all these like uh, you know rechargeable batteries and things like that so people want to know you know where i get this power supply and you know the benefits and all the information so i decided to make a video on this so this video is going to be a long so instead i'm thinking to make it two different part here you can see all the you know little electronics all around on my desk so what my plan is i'm gonna dis i'm gonna basically share with you guys what exactly this power supply is model number price where i got it and things like that i'm also going to open this puppy out to show you the machinery inside and all the transformer and all the good stuff because i want to share why i picked this one out of many i mean you go in google or amazon or anywhere look up variable power supply you're going to see a lot of them right there's a lot of chinese ones there's so many but i did a lot of research and i decided to go with this one because this has a built-in fan and you know a lot of good stuff inside that made me feel comfortable about my small investment i think it was like 60 or 70 bucks when i bought it but i wanted to buy something good something reliable that will last me a long time and will really you know do what i need this puppy to do so that's why i bought this one so i'm gonna tear down or maybe not tear down just at least remove this main uh, metal uh, this box or whatever metal uh, cap or lid or whatever i'm gonna show you inside what's in there why i chose this and of course i'm going to share all the model number that will be a part one in part two i'm going to show you how exactly you use this how you set all the ampere how these memory function work i mean let me show you hopefully you can see it but i'm going to show you all the memory fun function m1234 how the voltage and everything i guess let me turn it on and i can show you how use it and how i use this pretty much for anything up to 30 volt 10 ampere because this is the limit on this one I have this fan here, this shark vacuum, a uh, little, you know, tiny cordless vacuum. I don't have a charger, to be honest, for this vacuum cleaner. Let me bring it here if you can see it. I do not have charger for this, the factory charger. I use this one to charge. I mean, anything you see on my desk, I pretty much use this one to charge everything. And I'm also going to show you the volt as I'm changing it. So there will be a lot of information, a lot of useful information. Uh, so be sure to, you know, review the video till the end. So that way you don't miss anything also i'm going to share part two where i'm showing you pretty much everything 
So anyway, without wasting too much time, uh, let's begin guys. So yeah, let me part turn this off. So I'm gonna just unplug this power cable here. But yeah, here is the main unit right here. You can clearly see it's a Kung, Kung but I don't know how you spell it, but it's spelled like K-U-N-G b-e-r so kungber or kunger i don't know it's whatever but this was one of the known company on amazon when i was doing a research and this company had a lot of great reviews and it has a built-in fan and one thing i loved about this brand when i was reviewing the post online they were even showing the internal parts like not a lot of company like you know confidently take a picture of their internal machines and show on the main website and hey this is it this is our product i mean the fact they are even showing it that makes me feel like you know there's a lot of great component inside this was actually a little more pricier than a lower end i think i bought it good for uh, i think i bought this machine for like two years or so so when i bought it you know the cheaper one was i mean the lower lowest end i should say the cheapest was available i would say 40 30 40 50 bucks and this one was, I believe, 60 or 70 or maybe 80. I don't remember. I'll maybe post something on online to show you the exact price as of today. But yeah, this was a little more pricier is what I'm trying to say. That's why I was like, you know what? Let's buy this one. And people were not complaining. Also, in the newer models, there is a button for power. In the older one, there was like a push button. So there were some bad reviews. People saying, hey, the push button stopped working after a few months. And since they put this uh, physical button, so you see, this is a fish physical push button that make a click noise, like literally a physical switch. Then these push button type thing, this is just a different, like a little, I mean, you can tell, see, this is a big switch compared to this just push button, like a remote control. And this is a knob to change the voltage. So with this one, I was seeing a lot of great reviews. People are saying this does not break. This is far more reliable. I mean, I think this is a great unit. Uh, but yeah, this is, of course, the front side. I'm going to explain in the second video, I guess, how the voltage ampere, everything works. But in this one, let me open this puppy so I can show you what's inside. Uh, but yeah, let me open this puppy. Okay, before I guess... I do this before I open it let me also show you the back side I forgot to show you guys yeah let me remove these cables so yeah here in the back side you can clearly see there's a fan which is a very helpful even this morning when I was charging my uh, one of the power station at 12 volt and 3 amp it was getting a little warm I mean this is a metal casing guys I don't know if it's a, a steel or actual metal but it's it, it is I think a steel or mixed metal or whatever but yeah this is not a plastic body by the way this is complete metal shield metal body but this is the model number i have um so yeah what i was saying about the fan is so this unit was getting a little warm and i can hear the fan kicking on every few minutes or so and i when i touched it i can feel it was getting you know more than warm i should say but there's a little fuse here it comes with a fuse but you pop this puppy out like that i guess let's see yeah i think you just pop this puppy out well, let me do this. But yeah, I think you pop this puppy. Now let's see. There you go. So there's a little fuse assembly in here, like here. Oh, look at that. So there's one extra fuse right inside. And this is the one actually you are using. So if this blew up some reason, then you have an extra one right inside, which is very nice design. I think, you know, you just put it in like that. So there you go. That's how you put it. And so, yeah, extra one is in there. But yeah, this is the model number SPPS S3010. So in this model, you have different volt and ampere rates. So the one I bought is the maximum is 30 volt DC, of course, not the AC, 30 volt DC and 10 ampere. Honestly, this is perfect for me for a lot of stuff I use. There are only a few times when I was charging like my scooter, let's say, or hoverboard because that uses 42 48 volt those are the only time i wish i would have a higher one but i would say for what i use or what i repair like 80 90 percent of the time this unit works perfect for everything i use but again when you're buying it it's up to you if you want to spend a little more extra and jump to 60 volt and i think 20 amp is the max 
uh, but you can look it up online or I'll share something with you guys but it's up to you but this is this is what I have by the way 30 volt 10 amp but yeah here you can see this unit is open now I mean you can see how beautiful the machinery looks like I mean this is amazing the fan is here you can see some two big capacitor there's a big transformer I mean look at the machinery how much detail work it's not like you know cheap machinery inside I mean it's a very well designed let me bring it close to you guys so hopefully you can see better but look at that I mean it's very nice design at the bottom there's a big uh, like I think it's like a big oh that's a heat sink look at that these are the big MOSFET uh, hopefully you can see it there's a big I can see some heats uh, like a shrink tape or what you call um, thermal paste or thermal tape but yeah thermal tape is right here this big metal uh, look at that this big metal plate is basically to consume the heat and distribute entire you know right below the main plate I mean that's amazing design that's a pretty big and they're three big this MOSFET looking thing but yeah that's basically consuming all the heat I think that's a beautiful design um, yeah that's pretty cool Yep, that I'm sure for the USB, I can see RX TX 5 volt GND. There is no wire, but I'm sure you can plug the USB here somehow and program it or stuff like that. Or maybe that's how what they do. But yeah, hey, the, um, but I think yeah, that's what they use for repair, I guess. I don't know. But this is the button I was talking about. Look at the button. I mean, this is the physical power on and off button. How big they did it because they were getting a bunch of complaints. So they ended up putting this big button to avoid that issue. Maybe that was known in the previous models so but yeah again i love this machine this is you know helping me so much on a lot of repair you know before i was going crazy i had so many freaking <laughs> i had so many power adapters in my house and when i was doing something i'm just running around hey i need 12 volt i need 14 volt i need 7 volt i need 2 amp 3 amp 4 amp i mean it was just just crazy i mean i had so many power adapters and it just makes your life harder when you're trying to repair something you need something straightforward easy peasy and just do it right not like running around your house and looking for power adapters when you do need something but since i bought this i mean this one piece all in one universal power supply works for freaking everything i mean that thing is amazing it just you know beautiful look at that how there are like holes down there and with all those uh for the for the heat or i should say for the cool air to get in and of course it blows out from the vent on the back side i mean it's a beautiful design guys i mean it just works amazing uh, but again if you're looking for something repair like similar to what i do i would recommend this not exact this model but of course i like this one but i'm not saying buy this this is not what they call promoted video or i'm not a sponsor of this brand at all this is my own i bought this for my personal use for myself it was way before I was making YouTube videos, to be honest. So yeah, I bought it for myself. It's not too old, maybe one or two year old, two, two and a half year old or something. But I love it. This is what I use. If you guys like it, you are most welcome to buy something similar. Uh, this one or even similar. Anyone, anything will work. I would say you can, I guess, decide between you know amount of money you're spending or the quality you are looking. I, I'm sure they're more expensive one than this and they're cheaper one than this. But but yeah, again, this is what I have. You guys can buy it. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I think that's all I wanted to share in part one. Uh, I'm going to make part two after this where I'm going to be showing you how exactly to use this unit, how to charge pretty much anything, including your cell phone. I mean, I have this little 12 volt adapter. I'm going to show you how this works and all the thing I'm going to share and how this is so useful. Um, but I'm going to share a lot of more tips as well, which hopefully will help you guys as well. So anyway, thank you for watching my video, guys. I uh, hope to see you again. Peace out. Like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. And hope you learned something new from my video. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you uh, in the next video, part two. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much.